because I got caught up with other projects. Sure. Um, but yeah, I remember when we were out doing the first album, I called it Hope and Doubt. Yes. Because I was hopeful and everybody else around me was doubtful. Wow. You know, but I wanted to prove them wrong. So Indeed. I kept on with it and, and we made a wonderful album. Yes, indeed. And I have to tell you that the song that gave us the break off of that album was the song I wrote about my brother who had been killed. Oh, my the song, is, no, the song is called MPLA. Right. You know, and he was such an in, incredible individual. Sure. So I wrote a song about him and that was the song that took us over the edge. Yeah, yeah. wow, wow, amazing stuff. I played a uh, song just at the uh, start of this interview, um, Hollow Display, um, from. Um, I think that was from your 20, uh, 2008 album, yeah. 2008 album, you know. Just tell us a little synopsis about that album, the title, and, and, and that track as well, Hollow Display. The album's called The Idol. Mm -hmm. You know, um, people have called it all kinds of names. Sure. When we as Rasta people speak, we see each other as an I, because yeah. the Rastafari philosophy is an I and I philosophy. Yeah. I is physical and I is spiritual and it's one. So I would refer to you as the I dem. If I said the I dem, I meant you and everybody else. Yes. And since I was trying to be inclusive with the album, I called it the item. Yeah, no, I yeah. understand. Yeah. And, and